Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 46 in the second challenge of our Agent Site series. So yesterday I taught you how to go through the Kelly Guide to create and build out your agent site. And today I'm going to show you how to inevitably make a few edits to that site should you uh, choose to change a few things. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the site submenu here on the left hand side, second to last icon. And we're going to go into sites. We're still working with our agent sites. So we're going to click on agent site pages. And then you can actually see right here are the pages that we have created recently. Now some of these are pages that I have created separate from our challenge, but these were the ones that we created yesterday. So in order to start making edits to any of those, we don't want to come back to configure your site because that's going to actually take us back through the Kelly guide, which basically resets us back to zero. What we want to do is click on agent site settings here at the top right hand side. So if you wanted to change your subdomain, you can see that's the first tab that comes up. So you have the ability to update your subdomain here. If you wanted to change the theme, maybe you went red and then you want to go black, or you went black and you want to go red, you have the ability to change that and update the theme in the theme tab. And then when you click on the pages tab, you can see, now again, these are several pages I have created separate from what we did yesterday, but you have the contact us, company profile, and about me pages here at the bottom. So you saw yesterday I did not actually fill in the SEO description of about me. I have it for company profile, so I can actually just copy this one. I can come down to the About Me page, and I can then paste that in. And then I can come over here and click on Save Changes. If I wanted the page title, instead of to say About Me, it could say um, About Marty Miller. You see I've made that change actually in this page here. Um, I could do that. It could be um, more about you know, Meet Marty Miller, or whatever you felt like the page title should be. You can change that here. You can also change the slug. So instead of martymiller.kdb.com slash about me, it could be martymiller.kdb.com slash Marty Miller or Marty Dash Miller, something along those lines. So those are the opportunities that you have to work on. Now, if there's a certain page in this group that you don't actually want, uh, you do have the ability to remove it. So you can see I've already got my about Marty Miller page here. So I don't need a second about me page. So I'm actually going to click on it to make sure I have the About Me page, as you can see here, and then I'm going to delete that page. Now that is permanent, there is no question, it's an immediate thing, so sometimes you have the, are you sure? That one's an instantaneous, so just make sure that is something that you want to have removed immediately. Company profile is actually not one that I have on my page either, so I'm going to delete that page just for my personal use as well. Um, if there is something that you want to do where you need to actually change, maybe it was your headshot, your um, Market Center DBA logo, anything along those lines, those are all housed within your marketing profile. So you can see here at the very top, if you want to make changes to your digital social presence, go to your marketing profile. You can get there under the settings submenu, but since this is already hyperlinked, I'm going to go ahead and click on marketing profile and it's going to take me directly into that setting here in the connect settings underneath your settings tab. So if I start scrolling down, you can see I have the ability to change my photo. If I wanted to update my headshot, if I wanted to change my team logo, I can do that. I can go through all of the rest of this information. So accreditations, license numbers, bio, phone numbers, email addresses, market center information, compliance. Maybe I didn't know some of my social media or hadn't created certain social media channels. I could update those here. You also have the ability to add in your Facebook Pixel ID or Google Analytics ID and of course your KW app link. Whenever you make any of those changes, you do want to make sure you come down to the very bottom and click on save. And that's going to tell you, yep, it has now been saved. It will now make your work easier and help in auto-completion of many templates and marketing materials, which we've seen that several times when we're working with campaigns and designs. So that's today's challenge on uh, sites. Again, just making sure once you run that Kelly guide once, you probably shouldn't do it again because it's going to reset a lot of your work and kind of take you back to the beginning. So come into Agent Site Settings, make your changes to your domain here, your theme here, your pages here, 
in your marketing profile here. All right. Uh, tomorrow we're going to get into uh, landing pages. So I'm going to teach you guys how to create a specific one-off landing page. Um, I'll tell you that challenge. I'm actually going to do one for open house registration. So it'll teach you how to create a custom landing page uh, with the goal in mind to utilize that at an open house for people to register and have their information come directly into command. So stay, stay tuned for that uh, tomorrow. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you then, guys. Hope you're having a great week. Thanks.